Pleasure to be speaking to new signing Mo Bessemer on loan from Hayes and Yedin. Mo, welcome to the club. How did the move to, uh, to Chumpster come about? Uh, hi. Um, I obviously spoke to Robbie uh, last season. Always kept an interest in me. Kept in touch. Um, him and Adam. And uh, obviously, when the opportunity came forward uh, this this season, um, I thought for myself, you know, obviously, uh, for someone that wants to be scoring goals with a team that creates a lot of chance from what I saw last season it was very impressive and I think I can be a valuable asset to to come and score some goals here. Yeah so um, you played against us last season Mo for, for Concord but if, if the fans missed that game uh, how would you describe yourself as a player what's your, what's your big strengths? Uh, I like to think I'm an all-round striker uh, I could do a bit of everything um, I like to go and run in behind I like to hold it up sometimes uh, bringing other players in, involved. Um, uh, I've got, I like to know I've got a good shot on me, you know, I can finish well. Um, and with obviously the right team, which obviously I thought it will, it will be here. Um, you know, the chance they created from last season, from what I've watched was very impressive. And um, obviously I like to take it on and bring it here. Yeah, you scored against us with a fantastic header down at Concord last season. How, how did you find playing against us and now you're going to play for us? I think it was one of the things um, that left me out. I actually texted uh, Robbie after saying how impressed I was, impressed with, with the team I was uh, on that day. And you know what, the, the stats don't lie. You know, obviously you, you lot made the playoffs last season, which was very impressive. And um, you know, now hopefully we can just go that one, you know, that one extra place, and you know, hopefully get a promotion because that's what that's what I'm, I'm here for. Yeah, and you've had a, a few clubs in your career. What, what's your career history been before before Chelmsford? Oh well, uh, <laughs> well obviously I've always started in non-league football. Um, I was a, a scholar. I, tra I was a trainee at uh, Watford for eight months, trying to get a professional deal. Uh, didn't work out there. Then obviously uh, went to Hayes and Eden, who was in a conference prem at that time um, as a young kid. With um, from there, uh, I went. Uh, I went to Hampton and Richmond uh, down in the Ryman Prem at a time. Uh, from there, I went abroad back home, back home to play in Libya. Um, played for one of the main sides over there called Ahli Benghazi. Um, played in the African Champions League, went up to the quarterfinals over there. So that was an experience. And travelled to places that I never thought I'd go to. Um, and then uh, came back, started at Staines again, um, had an impressive season. Obviously went to Braintree from there, um, started really well over there, got on really well with the management team and obviously got my move to Barnet. Um, didn't really plan out exactly how I wanted to, but obviously um, had the opportunity to go to Aldershot after that. Um, and from there, obviously, didn't really look back and did, did well over there. Made a, an appearance, got a call up for my national side as well. Um, in African Nations qualifiers, where I scored on my debut, and it was um, yeah, it was a top feeling, obviously. And then last season, I got an opportunity with Hayes. Um, really, it was just to be, you know, just having my third kid. Um, I had to be around the family more, so it kind of made sense for me to be around them more. So I took obviously a step down just to be more around the family, and obviously be with a, with a club like Hayes, who shouldn't probably be at that level. Um, but obviously now the opportunity arised, um, you know, to come here and obviously it, last season I went on loan to um, Concord where individually I did, did all right um, and hopefully now just moving up and getting to come in here and just uh, prove, just, yeah, just to prove myself that I can, you know, I can do it and um, yeah, to come to a club like this obviously is a good opportunity for me. Yeah, and you mentioned it there. You got international caps for Libya. So, uh, how was that experience? And any any more on the horizon? Hopefully, that's that. That, that is the aim. Obviously, um, I think um, that was probably one of the best moments for me. You know, scoring my debut over there um, to to be recognised by your national team and you know to get a start and obviously get to score was uh, something. Probably that feeling won't be being so hopefully you know this season can give me another feeling like that and um, we can do that again we I can have some that some sort that feeling again here
Yeah, and we signed um, a lot of sort of creative midfield players already. You know, Samir Carruthers and Adam Mills and Eze and, and Charlie Ruff as well. So, you know, it's exciting times as a striker to be on the sort of end of their uh, of their creativity in midfield. I think the signings talk for itself. You know, with the players that um, Robbie signed here, it's, um, it's only it can only mean good things, and uh, especially for a striker. And uh, hopefully, you know, come when the season starts, hopefully you'll see exactly why we signed those kind of players and obviously myself and, you know, putting the ball back in the net regularly. Yeah, and finally, uh, Mo, how excited are you, are you to be joining Champs at the head of next season and pre-season? I think people know, you know, at this level, especially um, how big of a club Champs are and how many, you know, they've always tried to go for it. And um, I think hopefully with, with what Robbie's plan is and um, the management team here, I think we have a good opportunity to really, you know, push on the season um, and really do well. Okay, well done, Mo. Excited to see you in a claret shirt in pre-season and in the in the regular season next year. Happy to be here. <laughs>